Hello guys, this is Yash and you are watching Pro Tech Village English channel and today in this video we are going to compare Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor with the Samsung Exynos 990 processor. Both the processor can be found in the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 series. In Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra you can find both the processors. In the global variant you will find Exynos 990. In the USA variant you will find Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. In this video we are going to compare both of these processors and we will find out which is a better one so without wasting any time let's get straight into the video Starting with launch date, Snapdragon 865 Plus has been launched on 8th of July 2020 while the Exynos 990 was launched on 24th of October 2019 so according to the launch date 865 Plus is the latest one Let's talk about the CPUs. Both the processors have a tri-cluster architecture. Talking about the 865 Plus, it follows a big little approach of 1 plus 3 plus 4 cores. The first core is a Cryo 585 Prime which is based on ARM Cortex A77 CPU and it is clocked at a massive 3.1 GHz. The next three cores are Cryo 585 Gold which are based on ARM Cortex A77 CPU and clocked at 2.4 GHz. And the last four cores are Cryo 585 Silver which are based on ARM Cortex A55 and clocked at 1.8 GHz. The Exynos 990 has a big little approach of 2 plus 2 plus 4 cores. The first two cores are for high performance tasks and here you find Samsung self-designed Mongoose cores clocked at 2.7 GHz. The next two cores are ARM Cortex A76 clocked at 2.5 GHz and the last four cores are the efficiency cores and these cores are clocked at 2.0 GHz and these are based on ARM Cortex A55. So in terms of CPU, 865 Plus looks a better one because of the whooping 3.1 GHz clock speed, A77 cores and a well optimized cryo cores. So in terms of CPU and clock speed, 865 Plus is a better processor. Talking about the fabrication process, 865 Plus has been fabricated on 7 nanometer process while the Exynos 990 is fabricated on 7 nm EUV process where EUV stands for Extremes, uh, Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography which is slightly better than the normal one. So in terms of fabrication process, Exynos 990 is a slightly better one. Talking about the CPU architecture and the cores, both the processors are 64-bit octa-core processor. It means you get 8 cores for task distribution and multitasking in both of the processors. Talking about the GPUs, in Snapdragon 865 Plus, you get Qualcomm Adreno 650 GPU and this is a 7 nanometer GPU and the clock speed is unknown. On the other hand, Exynos 990 is powered by ARM Mali G77 MP11 GPU. This is a 7 nanometer GPU with 11 cores. However, the clock speed here is also unknown. Now, coming to the performance, Adreno 650 will give you a better performance. In fact, it is the second best GPU available in the market on the present day. And if you compare the scores, Adreno 650 scores 117 while the G77 scores about 111 point. So, so this is a significant difference uh, in terms of scores and uh, 865 plus will be a better one in terms of GPUs. For RAM support, 865 Plus supports a quad channel LPDDR5 RAM with a RAM frequency of 2750 MHz and a LPDDR4X RAM at 2133 MHz and the maximum RAM size can be 16 gigs. On the other hand, Exynos 990 supports a dual channel LPDDR5 RAM and the RAM frequency can be 2750 MHz and the maximum RAM size can be 12 gigs. So there is not much difference in both of the processors. For storage, both the processor supports EMMC 5.1, UFS 2.1, UFS 3.0, also the UFS 3.1 storage type. So there is no difference in terms of storage support. Talking about the camera support, Snapdragon 865 Plus can have a 25 plus 25 megapixel dual camera and a 64 megapixel single camera with MFNR or ZSL and the maximum camera size can be 200 megapixels. On Exynos 990, you can get a single camera up to 108 megapixel and a dual camera setup of 24.8 plus 24.8 megapixels. So Snapdragon 865 Plus seems a better processor in terms of camera support. If we talk about the video capture resolution, both the processor can record up to 8K videos. With 865 Plus, you can record 4320 pixels 8K video at 30fps, 2160 pixels 4K video at 120fps, 
1080 pixels at 60 fps and 720 pixels video at 480 fps with exynos 990 you can record 4320 pixels 4k ultra hd video at 30 fps and 2160 pixels 4k ultra hd video at 120 fps so in terms of video capture both the processors are same if we talk about the display support 865 plus supports up to 4k displays if a 4K display is used, the refresh rate can be 60 Hz and if a QHD plus display is used, the refresh rate can be as much as 144 Hz. On the other hand, Exynos 990 supports WQUX GA display with a resolution of 3840 x 2400 pixels as well as a 4K display with the resolution of 4096 x 2160 pixels. So in terms of display support, both processors seems to have the almost same specifications. Talking about the network modem, Snapdragon 865 Plus is equipped with Snapdragon X55 5G modem which provides an insane download speed of 7.5 Gbps and upload speed of 3 Gbps. On the other side, Exynos 990 is equipped with Exynos 5123 modem which gives you a download speed of 5.1 Gbps over 5G networks and 3 Gbps over 4G networks and the upload speed of 1.28 Gbps over 5G networks and 200 Mbps over 4G networks. So in terms of modem, 865 plus is a better one because it provides better download and upload speeds. Talking about the benchmark scores and starting with and to do Snapdragon 865 Plus scores a massive 6,46,310 points while the Exynos 990 scores 5,12,675 points. So Snapdragon 865 Plus seems a better performance by a reasonable margin. Talking about the Geekbench score, Snapdragon 865 Plus gets 910 in single core where 990 gets 804. In multi-core, Snapdragon 865 Plus gets 3229 points while the 990 gets 2697. So according to Geekbench, 865 is a better one. So guys, that was the comparison of Exynos 990 processor with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. If we talk about the CPU, the CPU is better in 865 Plus processor and not just because of the 3.1 GHz of clock speed but because of the presence of A77 cores and the optimization of the cryo course so in terms of cpu 865 plus is a better one in terms of gpu 865 is a better one adreno 650 is a huge performer i mean you will get the best gaming performance in 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 the phones with the snapdragon 865 plus processor so the gpu is also better in 865 plus the fabrication process is slightly better in exynos 990 because because it follows the euv process so the fabrication process is better in exynos 990 but in terms of modem again the 865 plus is a better one because it provides a better download speed also the better upload speed so if we talk about the ultimate winner of this comparison ultimate winner of this battle according to me is qualcomm snapdragon 865 plus processor let me know in the comment box what do you think which processor is better just let me know in the comment box below and if you end up liking this video please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please hit that subscribe button also and also press the notification bell and I'll see you in some other video till then ciao